Well, good evening. Three nights before it snows in Houston, Texas. I hope you can hear me. The audio is kind of bad on these iPhones. It didn't work really well. Um, it's really not a Bitcoin update. It's really more of a uh, why the middle class missed out on all what's been happening over the last couple of decades. And uh, right now we're, we're at 48,000 of Bitcoin, so it's doing well. Um, I started buying stocks back when I worked at Entergy. Uh, back, you know, in the early 2000s, I bought Qualcomm, Motorola, uh, three or four different stocks. Never did anything. Always tanked, went bankrupt, subprime mortgage hit, and then all the experts, quote, were saying how the market was going to crash, gold and silver would go through the roof, uh, inflation would hit. Uh, this was back, you know. Two, mid 2000s 2008 uh, of course we had the housing crisis but what happened is the big banks failed uh was it jp morgan or you know we had the enron debacle uh you know and a bunch of these banks were going to go under and that's the way america has always worked is you let them fail on your own. Uh, companies used to be based on their earnings, based on their performances. Uh, there's calculations for those things, but they don't use that anymore. It's all based on popularity. It's all based on emotion. And, you know, it's cut out the real investing. So that's why people are leaving it. And it is a bubble. And it will burst. It can't continue. It. Uh, I don't care who you voted for, but unfortunately, you voted for somebody that's going to destroy the middle class. And if you don't do something about it, take some kind of an action, you're going to end up broke or working and fortunate for me uh, I started studying stocks back in the early 2000s I watched the markets I watched oil I watched gas I watched cash I watched the dollar I watched uh, you know anything you could uh, I wasn't stupid enough to invest in it uh, I, I cashed out my 401k a long time ago I bought real estate you know I bought seven houses and uh you know did really well and uh got tired of dealing with people because people are sh shit to deal with i mean try to collect rent from them after you known them for about three months see how that goes for you occasionally you get one good one so anyway i sold those in 2013 uh, still waiting for gold and silver to skyrocket through the roof and then I discovered uh, Bitcoin. Uh, what happened is 9-11 happened. We went to war. We spent a bunch of money. And they bailed out all the big institutions with free money. They gave it to the banks. They gave it to the stock market they gave it to the brokers they are the ones who got the money we didn't get the money if they'd have took the first bailout i think bush did was 486 billion dollars and split that between 300 million people it would have been something like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a piece or something like that imagine that what that would have done for the economy what did $486 billion do for the economy? Nothing. Pumped up the stock market, pumped up the big companies, propped them up, 
you know, supposedly they paid it back. I don't believe it. You know, come on. Really? No, I don't think so. Even if they did, they had tax write-offs. So, you got left out because everybody got bailed out except you. So, everybody gets bailed out. Everybody gets rich parachute retirement funds as they leave or get fired or whatever happens. And you sexual assaulting people, getting golden parachutes. Well, guess what? How many bailouts have we had? I can't count that high, you know. And here we go with Super Joe, who's going to keep throwing the bailouts and printing that money until they can figure out how to beat Bitcoin. And that's their problem is they can't do it. You can't get in it. You can't change it. You can't change the quantity of it. You can't do anything with it except buy and sell it. And they don't like that. Their only hope is quantum computing, which will be along maybe five years to ten years, maybe. Quantum computers have to run in sub-zero temperatures, like outer space temperatures. And they may be able to crack the code of Bitcoin, but by then, it'll be too late. People have made millions and billions and have sold it off. So, you got left out by the Republicans. You got left out by the Democrats. You got left out by the uh, Libertarians, the moderates, the left wing, the right wing. You got left out by everybody but the one person who was trying to help and that was Donald J. Trump and you're trying to impeach a person who's not in the office of the presidency that's insane because he said give him hell well there's a 20 minute tape of Maxine Waters and AOC and Adam Schiff saying Fight like hell. Tell them to get out of the restaurant. They don't belong there. They're too white. They're too privileged. Get rid of them. Well, they need to go to court, and they need to sit in front of Congress, and they need to explain their actions, and they need to be convicted on their actions if they want Trump convicted, because there's no way in hell he's going to get convicted. But the bottom line here is... You got left out. They got bailed out. You got left out. So you better figure out a different plan. And the only reason my once significant other didn't lose half her 401k is because I had the presence of mind to move it to bonds, which was doing really well at the time. Okay? People don't look at that stuff. They don't. They put their money in there. If you're going to leave money in the start stock market, leave it in a guaranteed fund. It only pays 3% or so or 2%, but it's guaranteed instead of losing 50, 60% of your 401k because that's where they're coming for you next. And the next thing they're going to do is they're going to raise your retirement age to like 70. So if you can do early retirement, you better do it now. If you're 61, 62, you better do it when you're 62. You wait till you're 65, guess what? It's going to be 65. The Sleepy Joe says, Well, I'm so old, I don't need it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. This place has gone to hell in a handbasket, and if it wasn't for people like Jim Jordan, Ted Newton, people that have patriotic morals, people that are constitutionalists of the Republic of the United States, that's what you are. That's what I am. And I tell people that all the time. They say, what the hell is that? I said, if you don't know what the hell that is, you need to get the hell out of the country. Because, look, there's states where people are flocking to. Florida, Wyoming, Texas, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, probably the states in the middle. Uh, Kentucky, Arkansas, Mississippi. People are... Conservatives are going to these states 
there would be a coalition formed, a firewall built, and all these leftist socialist cities and countries will implode into bankruptcy and into destruction. Folks, I'm just trying to give you some knowledge I've gained over the years by keeping my ears open and keeping my mouth shut. So, I'm just praying for you, man. So, y'all have a blessed day and hope you do it right.